Hello there. Today we are going to explore different ways of placing images in Affinity Publisher version 2. If this is your first time here, don't forget to check other tutorials for Publisher as well. Alright, so here we are in Affinity Publisher. This is version 2. And for desktop publishing software, for multiple page documents, we need to prepare space for our images first. So that's why on the left side in the tool panel, you can see stuff like a picture frame tool. So there are two different picture frame tools. We can grab the rectangular one. And if I drag this around, I will end up with this strange rectangle that like X, like cross in the middle. So that's a simply a placeholder. They're waiting for us to drop the image here we can also click replace image at the top to load it from the list all right so that's the one way the second one is in the shape of oval if i hold shift i will get the perfect circle right and you may think oh our options are really limited here but not really we can draw any given shape so we can use the shape tool or we can use the pen tool here and we can simply draw some custom shape that you need for your publication. Like this blob over here. Let me just give it a color for a moment. So you can see it. All right, so that's the custom shape. I just draw the pen tool. And if I want to use that custom shape for an image placeholder, so I can right click on it. And there will be two options for us. We can convert this to picture frame and also to text frame. So in our case, convert to picture frame. We got this X on it, as you can see. And from now on, you will be able to put image inside. It will be work exactly as normal picture frame. All right. So any vector shape can be converted into a picture frame. So if you use the hard tool, start tool, you can convert that as well. All right. Let's stick with something very simple. Let's go with two frames like this all right i will duplicate that i can right click on the layer panel duplicate put it together now i select both and so i can stretch it across this page you may notice my document got only one page with two picture frames so how i can now place something in it and i already mentioned i can draw a pic just drag and drop one picture in it i can click place image replace image here but what if you got multiple images and you want to summon this image place bar you can say the panel on the left so let's try that i will simply select multiple images and drag them all in in one time all right all right, I got 12 images selected. If I drop it on my document, you will need to wait a second. And as you can see, all of them are loaded randomly in the original sizes on this page. So that's not what we want. Let's select a, this picture frame first and we'll drop it in this picture frame exactly all right so let's try again so once more but this time i'm holding option key on my keyboard if you're a windows user just press alt key and drop them while the key is pressed on this picture frame as you can see we already got a different result there's some kind of loading bar showing at first place images all right let's give it a moment it will depend on the size of your images and take a look instead of loading all on my artboard i got this very nice image bar on the left so if i select any of my images i have loaded i can simply hover my mouse above any frame i draw and i can place this image just by clicking this is a really handy method while working with a multiple page publication or some kind of gallery stuff. When you've got many images, just press Alt or Option key while loading them. So you'll get this panel on the left and you can easily drop them into your 
prepare frames. All right, but what if I got only two frames and one page here? And I want to tell the program, please keep adding pages like this one, use the same design until I can fit all of my images. That's a new feature called Autoflow, recently added in version two of the program. So we can do that now. So if I select all of my images from the panel, so holding shift, or you can hold command and select them one by one, then you can drop them in and the program will keep adding pages for you. So you don't need to worry about that. As you can see, now my document go one, two, three, four, five, six pages, all right, to accommodate all of my pictures and they're exactly in the same size using the same layout from the first page, all right? So how, that's how you can place your images in Affinity Publisher. Like always, there are multiple ways of doing that, but I believe this a new auto flow feature and also loading this bar on the left with your images is really, really helpful. I hope this tutorial was valuable for you and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.